Hey everyone! Today, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing credit card array animation in After Effects. This effect looks super professional and is perfect for motion graphics, product showcases, or even textile animations. All right, let's get started. First, open After Effects 2025. Since this version supports importing 3D objects, it makes the whole process much easier. Create a new composition and name it Array. Copy the same settings I'm using in the video. Now, go to the composition settings and make sure the 3D renderer is set to Advanced 3D. This will allow us to use real 3D models. Also, to keep things smooth while working, set the render quality to 8 and the resolution to half. Don't worry, we'll increase it later for the final render. In a separate composition, I've already imported a 3D model of a credit card in GLB format. If you have a 3D model, you can use that too. I've also added some text like card numbers to make it look more realistic. Now, go back to the array comp and import the 3D credit card comp into it. Adjust its scale to your preference. Next, make sure the credit card comp is set to 3D. Then enable collapse transformation to bring in all its 3D properties from the credit card model comp. Grab the anchor point tool by pressing Y and move the anchor point to the center bottom of the card. Now create a null object, make it 3D, and then parent the credit card comp to the null object. This will allow us to control the position and rotation of the credit card more easily. Adjust the rotation of the null object as shown in the video or however you like. This is the base for our array. Here comes the fun part. Select the credit card comp and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Do this 27 times so you have a total of 28 layers of credit cards. Now go to the last layer, add an angle control effect from the effects and presets panel, and lock the effects control panel. Then parent the Y rotation of second last layer to the Y rotation of last layer. This is where the magic happens. Select the second last card layer and press E twice to reveal expressions. In the expression box, Replace the default text with index plus one. Then at the end of the expression, add a plus sign and pick whip the Y rotation of second last layer to the angle control of last layer. This is the reason we locked the effects control panel. Now copy this expression and paste it on all layers except the last one. What this does is it creates a gradual rotation between each card, giving that array effect. Now, let's animate it. Go to the start of the timeline, select the angle control, and set a keyframe at zero degrees. Move to two seconds, change the value to 13 degrees, and then move to four seconds and set it back to zero degrees. Now, select the Y rotation of the last comp, add a keyframe at one second 25 frames, and at the end, set it to one full rotation. Easy ease all keyframes by selecting them and pressing F9. Now you should see a smooth rotating array animation. Let's make this look more cinematic with lighting. Right click in the timeline and add an environment light. This will give overall illumination to the scene. Now import an HDRI map in the timeline and turn its visibility off. In the environment light settings, set the light source to the HDRI map, set the intensity to 25 and the Y rotation to 180 degrees. Next, add a spotlight, open two views, and position it at the front of the cards. Set the intensity to 800 and change the color to something warm. Duplicate the spotlight, move it to the opposite side, and reduce the intensity to 500. Change the color to a darker shade. Adjust both lights until you get a nice balance of highlights and shadows. Now let's add some finishing touches. Drop the array comp into a new comp. 
then add an adjustment layer and apply optics compensation. Set the field of view to 15 and enable reverse lens distortion. Next, add the 3D glasses effect and set both the left view and right view to the array comp. Adjust the scene convergence to 0.5, vertical alignment to 1, 3D view to balanced colored, and balance to 5. This will create a subtle chromatic aberration effect, making the animation stand out. Now, add a glow effect and tweak the settings until the lighting on the cards looks crisp. Finally, apply a curves effect to enhance contrast and make the colors pop. All right, the animation is almost done. Go back to the array comp, open the advanced 3D settings and increase the render quality to 32. Also, set the resolution to double for a super clean output. Now hit render and you'll have a stunning credit card array animation ready. And that's it. You now have a professional credit card array animation in After Effects. This technique works for any 3D object, so you can experiment with products, logos, or any other 3D model you like. If you found this tutorial helpful, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more After Effects tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.